Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. This coming Thursday will be a Thanksgiving like no other we've known in our lifetimes. Gather the family, share the traditional feast, but share it untraditionally with Zoom or FaceTime. Well, it's just one more bizarre, tough choice in a year that will never be forgotten. I don't recommend getting together in person this year, and neither does Dr. Fauci. If foregoing the annual Thanksgiving feast as a group seems unacceptable, stop and think for a moment about the more than quarter of a million Americans who would love to have a big dinner with all the trimmings but cannot, for the simplest of reasons, really. They're dead. Victims of the coronavirus. Sometimes I think we are all growing numb to the staggering losses this horrible virus has visited upon the land. Every day our news media inform us of the newest death toll, and every day what they tell us seems like the stuff of science fiction. Another thousand or so of our fellow citizens are gone. Many of us turn our backs on the power of that number because it is too frightening to embrace. But consider the losses in context. Can you imagine the horror if by some nearly impossible twist of fate, five fully loaded commercial airliners crashed on the same day, killing a thousand people? And the next day it happened again? Put another way, we still feel the shock of losing 3,000 souls on 9-11. Yet the coronavirus quietly claims that many lives every three or four days. Yet we move on, almost in denial. It's like the forest fires in the west and the hurricanes in the south. At some point we hear, but do not listen. I read the obituaries in the Blade faithfully every day, partly because at my age I'm likely to discover that someone I know has passed. Several times, either from the obituary itself or a mutual friend, I learned that complications from COVID-19 were the cause of death. Normally, I don't like to rely much on statistics because I am always reminded of the old saying that figures can lie and liars can figure. But I will share a stat that should truly alarm us all. Every day in America, roughly 8,000 people die of all causes Think about the usual suspects when we ponder the cause of death in this country, cancer, heart disease. Yet one death in eight is attributed to the coronavirus. Think about that. Add to that this scary fact. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, says that the actual number of cases of COVID-19 in this country is almost certainly several times greater than those actually counted and reported. In fact, CDC Director Robert Redfield estimated that, based on antibody tests, the number of U.S. residents who are positive for the virus is likely to be 10 times as high as the number of confirmed cases. And Dr. Redfield's comment was made back in June, well before this newest surge. How about instead of wringing our hands in exasperation that we probably should not gather with our loved ones this Thanksgiving. Instead, we express our gratitude and give thanks that they are still there and that at some point in 2021, it will be safe to hug them all once again. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org life.